Here's some notes on the risk for HPA axis suppression in surgical patients. Your HPA axis is your hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, and it can become suppressed in surgical patients who have been on chronic steroids. When you have a major surgical procedure, that of course is a big stress to the body, and if the patient has an insufficient stress response to that surgery, then they can be in trouble. Their vitals can change. Um, they can have hemodynamic collapse. You can risk stratify your patient based on how much steroid they're taking. If they're using steroids for less than three weeks, they're considered low risk. If they're using a prednisone dose that's low, five milligrams a day or less, or 10 milligrams every two days or less, that's also considered low risk. Intermediate risk patients have prednisone or equivalent five to 20 milligrams a day for at least three weeks, prior steroid use that has caused suppression or stopped within the past year, or chronic inhaled or topical steroids. All of that is intermediate risk. High risk is when a patient has clinical Cushing syndrome from exogenous steroids or has been taking prednisone equivalent of at least 20 milligrams a day for at least three weeks. Now your management depends on your patient's risk level. All patients, regardless of risk, should continue their morning steroid dose on the day of surgery. Low risk patients do not need stress dose steroids. High risk patients should get stress dose steroids, especially if they have a highly stressful surgery, like a big cardiac or neuro procedure. Intermediate risk patients are more of an individualized decision. You could do a morning cortisol test, and if that testing is not possible, you can supplement based on the patient's symptoms, for instance, if they become um, hypotensive. Caution, you want to avoid unnecessary perioperative steroids due to the risks of steroids. Steroids, of course, cause impaired wound healing, tissue friability, increased infection risk, fracture risk, and GI complications like hemorrhage and ulcers. So you shouldn't be giving stress dose steroids to everybody, especially if they don't need it if they're low risk.